Hello everybody, the Silver Ghost Wolf here, but if that's too long, you can just call me Dusk, and welcome back to Who Murdered Sonic the Hedgehog? Allegedly, because I'm starting to think Sonic just got knocked upside the head when the train stopped. You're sure you don't want to stay and look at all the great books a little longer? Tales, we have plenty of time after that. The mystery calls. Okay, the investigation continues. Casino car. All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We visited every train car so far and everyone said they seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my. Talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? I am not doing a Rouge voice. And I see you've brought the microwave... At least this character's relevant to the series! Yeah, you tell her Dusk in this game. Tails is right, folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell him Rouge, we're gonna need the help. Blaze. Speaking of characters who need to make a comeback in the series, can we get Blaze back in the series, please? Alright, I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. Treasure? They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. <laughs> Since I'm a business, part business tycoon, part provider of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell them what it is, Rouge. Alright, well. It's a... Faberg Chaleg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. And made up! But don't please accept, tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She roped me into the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I del deduced that the fabulous Chala egg, yes, I'm going to come up with a different name every time, in this train is here in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in the library code with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. Who puts that in a brochure booth? The train's blueprints. Please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh-uh-uh, finder's keeper, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The ele elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the fabulous chalet. La beer, la gurge. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card to use the elevator. And our chance of su success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help steal the Flaburge Chow Egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, her lure card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Dust, do you have an opinion on this? Ceiling is for square. It's time for a five-figure discount. Well, I suppose if both Blaze and Dusk are in. Okay, let's get that flambagious chow egg. Heh, that's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Oh boy, what have we got ourselves into? Shut up, me! I like my thieving. Access to the flambage chow room is... Chow egg room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has access card. Do we attack the guard, bribe the guard, distract the guard? Let's go with option C. Distract them, perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. I'm tempted to say something, but I'm trying to keep this family friendly. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Dusk, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they do not know how to take a compliment. If I'm going to be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay, who's attracting the security guard? Obviously not Tails. I say Rouge. Look, this is actually in her one of her skills. She's done it in the anime. Of course I'll distract him. Who could resist my feminine charms? Yeah, the crop top helps. I'm not sure how effective your charms will be on a chow. We could just bribe it with fruit. Plus, you, your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being a distraction makes sense. 
Oh, well, fair enough. Let's think it over again. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Fine. Uh. Okay, I did really ruse as a joke. I didn't actually think they would bring me back here. Uh. I'm gonna go with Tails. Blaze has probably no clue how to raise a chow, so. Sure, I could be the distraction. I don't like the way he said that, Vito. I'm with Blaze. His delivery was shaky. No, no, really, I could do it. Sorry, but I think you better be off uh, elsewhere. In that case, who should we choose? Okay, who's distracting? I guess Blaze! Thank you, Discret the Guard Blaze. In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Great, her voice was so stoic, I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? I'm gonna ass pretend the claw machine st is stuck. Uh, quite a few, actually. Well, what I consider a casino, because I'm broke. Who puts a claw machine in a casino? This will work great as a distraction. Let's continue the plan. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? Pick their pocket. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. The challenge uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent. We can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. Get my paycheck while you're in there. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of here. Dusk, what's your plan? Say there's a drink without a coaster. Push the security guard over. Pretend you're Blaze's spouse. I gotta see where this goes. Then you be marrying into the royal family. What is your... <laughs> Depends. I worked at a pizza shop. I put some disgusting things on pizza. What? Well, I'm... You dress far too plain. You need a complete roof. Is it just me or is Blaze actually okay with marrying me? Uh, you know what? Maybe we should try someone else. Interesting. You give up far too easy as well. We'll have to work on your fortitude. I said... Does Blaze have a crush on the Avatar? With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of here. Dusk, what's your plan? Say there's a drink without a coaster? Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The card will go running immediately. I'm sure of it. Great. And with the guard distracted, we all head to the elevator. And just like that, we make it into the elevator. Inside, we... Pop some apple cider. Celebratory dance. Sing victory acapella. Pop apple cider? Oh, no. One last security measure we didn't count for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? High five each of them. The end of those arms are claws. I'm not touching them. My high fives aren't given away willy nilly. They are to be cherished. I don't think my hands will survive a high five from them. Let's rethink this. They all humored my suggestion. How oddly polite of them. Uh. Tails is a genius. I should be able to disengage him, I just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. Imagine you're not in pain. I've done that before. Pretend I was not in pain when I was in pain. Is everyone ready? It's time to execute. I'm ready, let's begin. Alright, let's see what the, oh, what's, on the, what's up on that elevator. It worked. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. I'm a little disappointed they skipped all of that. Our planning beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real price. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Flamberge Chow Egg. No question, this has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter the code on the blueprint and find out, Rouge. Honest, sweetheart, let's see. 230401. Oh, wow, it's here. Ha ha, I have it. Alright, before anyone sees, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo, we can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. Is there an actual chow in there? No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg. Duh. 
You sure can. All you have to do is bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should. All you need to do is twist it. Tick, 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 tick. Uh-oh. Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg secret because each egg is a bomb? I think you're on to something. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Uh, dispose of it after all our hard work. Rouge! Listen to my future wife! Sorry, I had to get one more joke in there. Fine, fine. But what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with the bomb? Twist the egg again. Throw it in, throw it and lock in the safe. Toss the egg in the elevator. Eat the egg. Take one for the team. Open up to see if there's wires to cut. Smash the egg against the wall. Have Blaze set the egg on fire. Let Tails cool it down with his tail. Stop on the egg. Rock the egg to sleep. R let Rouge kiss the egg. Chaos control the egg wave. Flip the eggs up upside down. Tell the egg to stop. Let it finish ticking and see what happens. I want to hit all of these and we're going to start with this one. Where did you hear about chaos control? Doesn't matter. We need a chaos animal to be able to do that. Well, dang nabbit. Have a, a place. Call me crazy about hats. Fire and explosions shouldn't mix. You don't think fire would neutralize the blast? You just like to say things, don't you, Dust? Yes. Yes, I do. And maybe. Uh... Let it finish ticking and see what happens. Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb dust. That's our goal. Listen, I get it that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Dust, I think you're on to something. Wait, was that actually important? Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just SBO did say something interesting when we quizzed them about the train's manual. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and mess work, messes out for it. The robotic arms can also detect weapons and explosives being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Did I accidentally do that thing again where I just struck gold without realizing it? These, those robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as a Flambar's shell eggs, the arms would have detected it and it wouldn't have been allowed on. The only other person who knows the coming and going out of this train is the conductor, and surely he wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should just wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay. The egg, it's open. It's hollow. It's it's hollow, not a bomb at all. You, Bruce, were really onto something. Phew! My, my, well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. Yeah, in my case, that was a guess. Eh, and look what's inside. Oh, cute! Can I get that as actual Sonic merch? I want that. Well, look at that sparkle, and it's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Flambeur Chow Egg is a chow covered in gems? It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Shut up, Dusk. Though I must admit, it is stunning. Yeah. You said no one lived to tell the Flamber Chow Egg secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us? I don't know. Who cares? What a precious treasure. A beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them? And there are people who will solve stuff and do like that. Uh, as much fun as this has been, we should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call, let's go. No one seems to suspect anything, and the security guard is back at their post. Hope they said do the trick, Coaster Fiend, okay? Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun, but I prefer to never do again. You're no fun, Tails. Now, Rouge, Rouge, she's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. Uh, what, what, what is it, darling? About those blueprints, now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look. While I appreciate your assistance, it's as I said, find your skeepers. I need them for a little more, longer in case I missed any other treasures. But I promise let you let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. I mean, according to the internet, if you say no offense, you're allowed to say anything before it. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Yeah. Well, we'll get our out of your way for now, then. We have the murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me 
and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we had a lot of people mention you, Rouge, but we also just have as much as suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Little dude, come on, Dust, let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Pulling off that heist was a rather more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Your alibi? Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, please? She never went over it! When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure, we left the dining car and Roach pulled me aside to talk about the Flamberge Chow Egg. We talked about the casino car where we w then went our separate ways. I scoped around and discovered the egg was here. After that, I played played the slot machines. The train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I never let, didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof you were here playing the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I saved the cash out voucher. You can take a look. Let's see. Four. Blaze, can I borrow you, please? I need to go to... A, I need some money. That's an enormous payout. How did you... I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. I do not know. That smirk, she's so self-aware. Well, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime, Intel. Do tell Green I said hi, won't you? Of course, can do. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now, what can I do for you, darlings? Your alibi. Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, Rouge? When Amy, Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Well, once Amy paired Blaze up and I up, I immediately roped her into the my Flamberge ch Flamberge Chow Egg Hunt. I'm getting tired of saying Flamberge. We split up the at the up at the casino's card, and I went searching for the blueprints. I walked back through the library and saloon cards till I found it in the library card. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I do. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around, and I have blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate your answering our questions, Rouge. You take care now. Likewise, darling. Tells we must search the trash bin. Sigh, it's empty. Oh, oh, did I hear an oh? I always believed in my in a thorough as the even peeking in the trash. See, it's about persistent. Tells my dad told me what he that when he met my mother, he would drive to her work two hours away every Tuesday with a flower from his garden. She quickly agreed to a date, and when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Within a year, the two were married. It's about caring, dedication, and persistence. That sounds a little creepy. That's, um, very sweet, but all that's in the bin is a lollipop stick. A lollipop stick? Yeah, like the leftover stick from a lollipop. That's all that's there. Dusk, dusk, is everything okay? Do you need me to bring you a flower? Just leave me be. Uh, Dr. Eggman's built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down to play any for fun. Well, wanna play blackjack, ready for some hold'em? All right, what's y'all's favorite card game? Blackjack or Texas hold'em? I prefer blackjack. I don't know how to play that. Let's easily let me show you. Thus, we simply don't have time to this. We must have been Sonic. Probably a good point. Hmm, should I give us the slot machine a try? Yes, play the slots. All right, let's see. Big money, big money, big. Well, I lost. Do I try again? Yes. All right. One more time. I respect your restraint. Haha, <laughs> thanks. I would actually try and say here if I wasn't recording. Ready get, to get going? Let's find Shadow. Let's do it. Lounge car. Now is as good as any time to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking these doors. It's hard to get a ward in as you talk over me. I have my reasons. I No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, 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 what's going on? Hmm, I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when you're microwave. Don't!
I also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You will not have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Dusk, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk. Let's do some investigating. Alright, ready to find some answers, Hells? Indubitably, my dear Dusk. I'm gonna call it now. Shadow was probably locking the doors just because he has no other clue what he's supposed to do as a locksmith. Dusk, could you open the wardrobe, please? Sure. Wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What if something falls out? Or worse, someone leaps out? I just think you should do it. Fine. Alright, watch a probe. Oh, there's dust. You opened the door too fast. It blew everywhere. <coughs> well. Hey, it's the Big Chow Band. Play us a ditty. They don't miss. Let's shall understand music. What's the other option say? Give us a jam. That was spiritual. I feel reawakened. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey, robot arm, can you give me a high five? It doesn't seem to be listening to you. But I can give you a high five. Oh, sweet. Hmm. A key ring must be shadowed. The locksmith's interesting. There's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Want to take it? Yeah, let's take it. Can you bring attitude inventory? Computer. They told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is a shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Seems a printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Sonic singing a song. Sonic rowing a boat. Okay, I've technically seen Sonic singing a ball from that orchestra thing, but I don't think about anything about the robot. Huh. This printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stump me. <laughs> and here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll uh, quietly set this back on the printer. Thus, we can't move on until we interrogate Shadow. Oh yeah, I guess I'm getting my head, so I guess you are. Oof, better get back to investigation. Talk to Amy. Glad you two finally caught up. I'm surprised it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. We've been thorough. Do you have any clues for us? Just a hot tip, but all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. I hear sharing is caring. No way. Journalist, reporter, re journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. I'm so curious what it is. She seems confident. Well, we'll hold you to it. Oh, that's the same. I keep forgetting that. No. Yep. Same thing. Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either with you ask. I ask that you leave me be. That stare. So cold. Shadow, this is why the internet argues about you being an edgelord. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Thus, we certainly will not. Hmm, I don't think we have enough elements. Why don't we look around a little more? Well, what did I miss? Wow, Tails, you have to check this out. Hey, look! Big the cat! These windows are huge, what a view. I didn't realize this train could actually drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean. If this train wasn't so nice to be on, I agree. Despite the murder lingering in the air. Despite the murder lingering in the air. I just thought the same thing. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Dusk, and you have been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Dusk? There's always something in the trash bin. 
All right, let's check the trash bin. Look, Tails, I may have total d a blank record on Pokemon on this, but I can say without a doubt there is something in one of these trash cans. What? What's this? Ha-ha! Paper. Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares about what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Crumple paper is added to your inventory. Hmm. What's this? Hmm, Tails, do you see this? A bullstring? Dusk? What? It's gotta activate something. Whoa, the, there was a wardrobe in the back door. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where it leads. He's curious. This must mean something big. This is the library. There's a secret password from the lounge to the library. I think we know how Sonic got to the dining cart now. I don't believe it. Shh, be quick. Back through the passages before they spot us. Hmm. We need to add that to our inventory. Hidden passage added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and... And I know why. Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? Haha, <laughs> time to rebuild my hot tip. Hope everybody's ready to scoop for a scoop found by yours truly. We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. The, this door right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following. We might have to go back and question Espio. So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. So you think Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car and then locked all the other ones so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Reckless speculation. Is this logic sound though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along with all this train of logic, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Dusk and I could explain the car change, however. Dusk, what evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Okay, just get my thoughts in order. I'll give it another trip. It's very hard to do this when you can't see your keyboard! Dusk and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library card. What? A secret passage? Wow, Amy didn't investigate good enough, did you? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library card, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining cart. Excellent work, Dusk. Hmm, <laughs> this adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the Adepter's car, but then thought the crime scene was being so close to the station was suspicious, Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the do door to the conductor's car on the way out, and dropped the body off at the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course this is just a theory. I uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Heh, <laughs> seems Thomas and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not then going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled all the way through the hidden passage and opened the 
and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um, I suppose it would hard, be hard to, to sneak around two people. Dust, do you have any guesses? Well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... Vector was with Knuckles and Espio was reading. I Espio believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at the table reading. Espio reading the library checks out, that's what he told me too. He's lying. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library card. Like I believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. To be fair, it's like I said, Espio had access, Shadow could have been playing arcade, and then he could have killed Sonic. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if, why would a locksmith be giving away keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Every button but us seems to have one. That's true, everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that Shadow's been passing out keys. Perhaps Dusk and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do that? Dusk, what evidence do we have to support Shadow's claim that he was giving keys away? The keys. Shadow's key ring with two dangling keys. I always thought a locksmith would have more keys than that. This feel good, now the time to get my thoughts in order. there's exactly two kings or keys on that tree room. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espeon Vector. No way. Well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Interesting. So let's say Shadow was telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right. Her theory is strong. Tells and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. It's Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? We do? No, I didn't mean to click that. Oh, Tails must be thinking about that. Why does he keep including me to ooh? First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone. Yeah, everyone was so sweet. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Dusk? Uh, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We all, we know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exits, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right. The conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Shadow wanted to keep us away. Oh, Shadow printed out the birthday ticket to give it to Amy because that was her favorite band and he was having a hard time with the printer? Not us, Dusk. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me, princess? Sorry, couldn't pass it. Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Dusk, show me evidence! Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Uh, okay, okay. Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep us away, just Amy away. Why? What evidence shows that Shadow didn't want Amy to know? This feels right. Phew, just organized my thoughts. Trash. 
Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's a band ticket website. Tails don't get that. This is Hot Honey's website. No way, I love them. Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is sign my current my current favorite. All the members have B after their name. Yeah, he <laughs> isn't he cute? I just haven't got any of their shows yet to see him though. Their tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey's Band ticket website exists because Shadow was buying tickets for Amy. What, Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow, I used that printer earlier and found it difficult to manage. While logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. You know, that would make sense. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't let technically the newborn here have control of anything at the Space Colony Ark. I can't believe this. Even after I accused you of murder, spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of bug. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise is ruined anyway. Oof, probably our fault there. Uh, sorry, that's all a detective job is, I suppose. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift for, except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remember Amy had never seen Hot Honey Live and looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're actually able to buy the tickets? Precisely, I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy tickets, so I began locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out the keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work, Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. The key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal fall, the birthday key. I should have guessed it was a well-known privilege. Shadow, I, uh, your guess here is so sweet, and after I accuse you two, how about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and we can. And to make it up with you, you can come with me. I uh, don't know if too late. It's happening. Hee, I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. Fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. <laughs> Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked door has been finally reached. I blame my source for all of it. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I'm curious, who is the source uh, for your big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shut, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strong feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Dusk, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this tale. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on, then. Let's do it. Ready to go to the conductor's car? Let's finish this. It's now or never. time working on this train. I haven't visited the conductor card yet. Feels empty. Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come, time to investigate. Let's crack on. I think I get it. Wow, the conductor looks so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. Isn't it odd we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? I figured he had to drive the train the entire time. I guess the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he... Is. Hope he's alright. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. Oh, I get it. Uh, uh -huh. Well, we should have saw that coming. I'm tempted to say what I realized, but 
I didn't realize these robot arms could also drive the train. Yeah, but they can't access every function on the train like the conductor can. They they teach you how to drive it? Oh no, just how to work the microwave. I recognize some of these functions. Maybe I could drive the train. I would completely trust you to drive the train. Same, actually. It's true. You could drive this train flawlessly. Flawlessly. Ah, guys. This robot arm has been completely torn off. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It may be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people out here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why. A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, 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 sir. I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice, the picture's really clear. I would watch a movie, full movie on one. I saw a slide that said, Happy Birthday Amy, that was cute. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring though. The high quality screens probably didn't do that any favors. Not at all, perhaps too much detail. You know, I'm all right, I don't need to check this trash man. You're satisfied with finding a clue be here before, huh? I know they always say to check the trash man, but I'm good. I'll go on on high note. What's this? Was someone playing darts? That's a, not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. Hmm, that shouldn't be possible. Tells us right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. Let's make note of this. Blow dart is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Event, it's a large one. Seems at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you get up there. Wait, why would it be a problem for you? Oh, uh, the tail's right. Dust. Ugh. Well, you two, I think you have enough evidence for calling everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. What do you think, Dust? Ready to solve the case? Yeah, I think I know who was behind it. And I'm not joking. Hello, everyone. This is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Wonderful to have you out here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from Dust. Why hasn't Sonic shown up yet? Vector, real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? He must be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready? Let's go get him. Let me tell you, darling, this has been a delight. A d yeah, I don't think Sonic's pretending. At the very least, he's unconscious. The air in here is so intense. I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities, I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun with myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective outside this mystery, Espeo. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am a, but a humble poet. I will be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms. Count me in. Never done one of those before. I want to try that. Glad everybody's having a good time. Maybe we could ride the train just to relax sometime. <laughs> That'd be fun too. You know... I figured it out, but this is admittedly really fun. I'm glad Sega did this. I hope they do more Sonic Mystery games. Ah! What in the world? That's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? He's not responding to us. Is what? Is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic on my birthday, no less? Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again, which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose this monster who did this. Tails, this is, is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but somehow he met his match. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Scare him. We're going to figure out who exactly happened in this room. And punish the one responsible. Sonic, he was really hurt this whole time, and I did nothing. I was, I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Dusk, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Oh. They're not giving me another option. Well, okay, hang on, hang on. Well, assuming this is the, well, the killer is one of these four, eight, I'm gonna go with Espio. But also, hmm. Okay, so I, 
assuming this is not a joke answer or it's not set up for who I think the real killer is, I can narrow down pretty much everybody but here. Tails woke up at the exact same time we did and he's been with us since then. Knuckles and Vector have confirmed their story along with Shadow. Blaze got rich. Rouge got the blueprints. And, but Espio technically has a part of his alibi that there's a hole in. And then there's Amy. She did wake up before us and it wouldn't be that much of a stretch to say she could knock the bookshelf down to make it look like she was innocent. I'm gonna go with Espio. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? I did no such thing, my young friend. But if a battle will witch you much, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio? We already talked this out. The man was reading. You have nothing. Restarting Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library card reading. He only had access to the saloon card during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. Oh, that's right. Thus, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings Espio into question Espio's alibi? We discovered a hidden passage. Espio could have never left the could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library card to the lounge card. In the lounge, the hidden passageway exists between the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would have put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions with a flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true you didn't miss a question, but I think Dusk and I can explain that too, Dusk. How did Espio know everything in the train manual? He was reading. A ninja like him speed reads. Espio's a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. I did not know about the 17 different languages. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the bookshelf and memorized it, just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd. Memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bond, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. Is it possible Espio is particularly skilled? I've known Espio a long time. He once bed wrote a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> if I'm right and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Since we're only talking what if it, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden. That's right. How would Espio have known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the passage. Dusk and might not have the evidence to your question, but we know someone who does. Dusk? Who here has evidence to prove Espio knew about the hidden passage? Rouge! She has the blueprints. Rouge, we need to see those blueprints. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever, I already used it to scout out for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. Blueprints are added into your inventory. That's right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you think I ever saw those blue blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Dust, do you have any answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Ooh, uh... There's a code included with these blueprints I thought was odd. The code is classified information. Could those blueprints be belong to the conductor? That makes a lot of sense, actually. I remember the conductor pulling out blueprints out to show me my, something during my interview. Espio could have swiped the blueprints, found out about the past ends, and then stuffed them somewhere. Come to think of it, I did discover the blueprints in the library card. No way. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden patches to get to sign. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Dusk and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how harm Espio caused, much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Dusk and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich, pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Okay, now to form my argument. Come on, focus, you got it close. What would Sonic do? Miss. Okay. Let, at least they let me retry. Oh. Okay, that's new.
Messed up. Gotta do it over again. Got it this time. Got it. The blow dart was found here, in the conductor room. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? Um, I'm sure he's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rule, a blow cart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are you so- there are so many holes in it? You deny all the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Shoot, that's a good point, but Tails was on to something, I'm sure of it. I locked all the doors and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passageway back. If he took the hidden passageway back, he would be back in the library. Thus, can I know another way it could have been done? We do. What piece of evidence do we have that we need to take a closer look at? Let me see those blueprints. Nope, that ain't it. I don't think this is alright though. Whatever it shows another. The map? Okay, I'm just gonna give the blueprints. Now what is I don't get it. Try. Okay, I couldn't figure out what the blueprints meant. All right, let's take a look. If Espiel didn't take a, the pa secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? There's a path above the conductor's car and goes all the way to the dining car. Huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there. The vent, of course, that must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word, there's a path back here and a track. A track, huh? A track for robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to get to move throughout the train. So you're saying I somehow fit Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car. Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you both realize we couldn't look we both couldn't fit up there. As we're right, the feeling this is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? It's the... I don't actually think Espio's the killer. I think. I don't know where they're going with this. Try this again. These are actually very hard.
missed that. One more try and I think I'll have it. Everyone saw the broken arm, saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly, as a fight, a fight broke out here, and one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if one of these robots was, uh, one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said, "There's a track on the robot arms used that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from the blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? I can." see See that those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easy, but if he's losing from a blow dart, blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory, Tails, but you have to admit there's a lot of coincidence. I might not be able to link everything directly to Espo yet, but I have found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information. I believe that information came from Espio. Who received that information? Amy. Amy, you received a hot scoop, didn't you? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Tails, you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic, but we found out Shadow was trying to keep me away from discovering my birthday present. That scoop came from you, Espio? Uh, <laughs> no, of course not, Amy. Must have misheard me. Misheard you? Yes, I said, uh, Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger's safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio, what... The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree, you want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time while you were stationed in the room with a hidden passage. And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days. I believe the murderer used the train's control to move Sonic from the conductor's car to the dining car, and lied to Amy casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everybody's alibi, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it could only be one person. It was you! You're the one who murdered- Did they really do that? Hey guys. Sonic, you're okay? Sonic and just as we solved the mystery, Espio was the murderer. Right. Espio jumped me in the conductor's car. Dang nabbit, you got me. Blow dart? No, really? It's non lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use it now. No, wait, there's something important. Espio left me there. Something important. I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad nick. Called it! I knew Eggman was involved! Sonic, are you feeling alright? Do you need to lie back down? No, no, no. We, we, we all need to get off the train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me about the features on the train. But what he was telling me, I I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. A flicky, that tiny animal. There's only one tw person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple bad net. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. Espio left. The lights in the room started glowing red. Hey, stop. What are you doing? I knew something was wrong, and I stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin dash right through the robot arm, sliced off the rail it was on. Wow, I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poison. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Ah! The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered... Yeah, we already knew that. 
This gun, why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games work. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they died. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. I was just following the rules. See? What is that? It says, use this blow dart on Sonic in the conductor cart. It's laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you for again for choosing the Mirage Express. What is this? Instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. It's signed, Steph. Who gave this to you? Come to think of it. One of the robotic arms get handed to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger repair? Who instructed these arms to attack? Who or what? Dusk, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed SPL the blow dart? According to Sonic, the conductor was attacked by robot arms. I attacked himself on his purpose, and while it could have been an accident, it, I have a different theory. I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture, and for a good while, so I think the train itself is plotting something. First, we learned the train's a Batman, and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're certainly convinced the train has it out to get us? I don't know what this train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. Train? Come out and show yourself. Amy, it's my birthday and I don't need you messing with it. Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Tails. This train can have it. Come on, there's got to be another way to get this train attention. What was that? What did you two do? Is that the conductor? Hmm. <laughs> Here, I can get him down. Don't touch him. Is this the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base where you will rot. Eggman. After I delivering your annoying party to right to his egg fortress, annoying, the conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open world rails like we always planned. What are you? Enough. The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa. Sonic. Ha 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 ha. Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. No, no. Can't keep my footing. Ah! Huh? A bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Uh, uh. My head, tails, Amy. Ah. Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic, I'm so sorry. Uh, are you okay? Hanging in there. It seems the train arms threw us back into the dining car. But where is everybody else? Oh, great question, but for now, are you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog asking about me. I feel terrible. And I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Next time on... Well, he's not really dead anymore. But I guess I gotta stick with the name. On the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. We'll see where the story goes. Catch you guys then.